Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're going to get back to some of the roots of the channel, which is where we take a look at some indie games that not many people invested a ton of time in or just kind of ignore or fall under the radar or didn't have giant marketing teams or are just awesome and people are schmucks. Today we're going to take a look at Goblin Sword. I hate how the light comes through this window and just completely destroys the camera. I mean, this room is bathed in light, but there's just a way that it doesn't matter. Okay, coffee's ready. Today's mug is a, uh, it's Disney. Pirates of the Caribbean has got Mickey on there. He looks awesome. Coffee is great. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, Goblin Sword, as we'll see, looks pretty cool. Oh. So we got some old school pixel art here. Oh god, I didn't read it. Okay, hey, 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 hey. Wait, wait, do over. Oh, oh the Witcher patch, dude. <gasps> it's ready. We are 100% going to be checking out the new Witcher patch. It's got visual enhancements, fidelity enhancements, whatever. So, here we go. Let's try this again. Goblin Sword. It is said that the wizard Thord Thordus has found the legendary Goblin Sword. Forged by the Goblin Lords ages ago, it was thought to have been lost forever. Thordus intends to use its ancient power to cover the land in darkness. That son of a bitch. Already has his minion already his minions have brought fear and death to our peaceful kingdom. It is time to meet your destiny. Defeat the wizard and bring peace to the land. Now off you go. How many times have you walked into like a grocery store? And the guy that's stalking the onion stops you and says, Dude, there's an evil wizard. Land in darkness. You and your blue hair get the f*** out of here and take care of it. Happens to me every Wednesday. So here's the world map. Whatever that means. Uh, let's see. I can select some X's here. So that was my home. This is where Grandpa lives. Okay, so we got souvenirs. We got some quests to acquire everything in the fucking game. Okay. Exciting. So there's a merchant. We can buy things. I don't think we have any money. We have zero money. Ooh. This looks kind of straightforward. Uh, like Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom. I like these like little light art like RPG elements here. Wow. Are these all the levels? The Great Forest. Welcome to our village. Greetings. Okay, I can. Wow, you get double jump right off the right off the bat. Okay, I really like that. I think I saw a monster near the bridge. You saw it. Press B to jump and hold to jump higher. Crystals found. Collect gems and other power-ups to help you on your way. Okay. Press Y to use your sword. Try to avoid contact with enemies. Oh. God. Killed that snake. Killed that traveling pig hobo. Easy, dude. Killed that butterfly lives. Push B while in the air to perform a double jump. Done. Killed that snake. We are just Lord of the Snakes, dude. Which was my wrestling name in high school. I used to have this move where I would, like, just yank... This wall looks strange. I wonder if there's something there. Oh my god, really? It's going to inform us of video games? Oh, yes. So far, great start. I love secrets. I love collecting crap. I love simple RPG mechanics. And I love that you are rewarded for exploring off the beaten path. Can I jump through? I can't fall down there. Okay. And I love double jump. So this game has the makings of everything I love already. Which is awesome. It's simple. We're already into the action within like a minute. And I don't feel like I'm being restricted in any way. I mean, maybe if I had a wall jump, that would be different. Oh my god, it's a rat. You can't crouch, so there's no like directional attacks, which actually I kind of like. Because I suck at using those anyway. See my uh, Valeris video for more information on me sucking. Go to the right to exit the level. Good luck on your quest. Uh, thank you, random guard who has no name. Found all the crystals, found all the treasures. God, we annihilated that one. Oh, God. Collect magic orbs to activate your weapon's special attack. I have a special attack? 
Some monsters can be defeated more easily if you sneak behind them. How do I sneak? Oh. So it automatically uses my special attack. I don't get to choose. Well, whatever. I'm okay with that, actually. Ooh, is this a bouncy thing? Oh, I like bouncy things, dude. Trampolines. Breasts. Just all kinds of bouncy shit, dude. Rubber bands. Bouncy balls. Balls in general. I mean, there's just a lot about that these this lifestyle that this game is portraying to me that I am about. So do I have a map? I have the world map. Do I have a level map? What? What did I do? Just like that, I got out. Whoops. Okay, I don't know how I did that, but whatever. Apparently there is no level map, which is fine. I've activated my, my superpower of the weapon. We're back to the bouncy things. So there's this guy. Let's watch out for that boomerang coming back. So we're going to hop up here again. Go see what this is about. So I, I'm trying to remember if people were talking about this being a mobile game at some point. Maybe it started that way. I mean, there's a great deal of switch. Oh my god, look at that fucking bird. It's dead. Look at all this money. I can't wait to get to the merchant and spend it all. First thing I'm going to buy is a hat to hide this hideous hair. Seriously. I'm like a... Like an old... Oh my god, look at this dude. Okay. Enemy types are varying. Can't use the cannon, though. That is a... That's a no bueno. Any video games up here? Imagine. Boomerang guys. I'm hit or miss on boom, boomerang guys. Flying ghosty guys. Never like those either. But I do like running around. Beating things up. I do also enjoy that the enemies are not respawning. Some of these side-scrolling... I died. Legit, dude. I wasn't... I... I look, I'm losing hearts again. I didn't know I was so bad. Now the question is, is all this stuff going to be back up here? Like the chest and stuff? Did I lose it? Okay. Well, at least there's no fall fall damage. But we are losing damage. And we, we did keep our coins, it looks like. So that's good, too. Games that punish you by losing all your stuff for not completing a level is just really rough. Hollow Knight combats this in a way that's acceptable because you can, you have the opportunity to go retrieve them, but it's still a pain in the dick because you can't hardly take any risks. Like say you want to go investigate a new area, but then you die because there was hordes of monsters in there and now you got to go back in there if you want to get your shit back. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that, but Hollow Knight also provides an, an out mechanic, right? You can actually go Turn in some eggs and get your shit back. Or your rotten... I think it's a rotten egg. Or maybe that's that's just the person that was always last in line. In school. That's an elementary school joke for those that are in the uninitiated. Or I'm sure things have changed, right? No one's like, last one there's a rotten egg anymore, right? What do, what do, what do you kids say now, anyway? Like, you know, your TikTok's not going to get upvoted. I don't even know. How do you even... Do you upvote on TikTok? Favorite? I'm guessing there's a thumbs up somewhere. We didn't find all the crystals. Oh my god. This is what it's like to be a terrible gamer. This place is full of monsters. I'm getting out of here. That's probably smart, dude. Probably smart. Kill the hobo swine. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to go here. I mean, it's... I'd like to get to the first boss, but if it's going to take an hour to get all the way to that bridge, can I drown? Can't drown. That's good. And the hitboxes on these spiders, a little, little big. That's okay. Because we can just beat up all this stuff. Ooh, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Get down in this water. What do you think it is, dude? An invisible platform, maybe? Fire myself out of this cannon? Imagine if I could fire myself out of this cannon. Alright, 
Hold on, let's get to the top of this and see if there's like a secret platform that comes down once we reach the apex here, or the height. Nope. How, how do we get up there? That's the question. Maybe there's like a secret ceiling here somewhere? Well, maybe we gotta go up this way. Aha! Rewarded for exploration. That is wonderful. I'm super happy about that. You've got a fan in me. Maybe not a friend, but a fan. Actually, always a friend. I try to be a friend to everybody. And I do that because even the smallest gesture could really help somebody out. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be saying that if I didn't experience it myself. A simple hi, uh, a simple, uh, hey, how's it going, man? And not not in the way that you would that you would say it to a person at the grocery store, right? You wouldn't be like the cashier is like, "Oh, how's your day been?" You're not gonna be like, "Oh my god, I had liquid lava hot diarrhea this morning. My cat has cancer, and it's just horrible, dude. I've got this, this pain in my left nut." You're just like, oh, "That's okay." But if you take a genuine approach with people and actually care about them, especially in an intimate setting like Twitter DM or Discord or something like that. Uh, you can you can really you can really help, and you should always be trying to help. The moment that you decide to become part of the problem is when you've made a mistake. Okay, and people do it. I've done it. Right. Oh, ooh. hold on. So now we got to decide: is the jump over here? How do we get? Oh, we can't get back. Oh, we got to be able to get back up there somehow. And making mistakes is okay. It's how you learn more about yourself, right? And there's plenty of social situations that you may have never actually been in. I encounter this a lot with uh, my kids, right? They just don't know how to act. Which is fine. It's how we learn. But if you find yourself in a position in which you are actually harming someone, mentally, never physically, if you feel the need to resort to physical anything and nothing physical has been done to you, then that is a big issue. God, it's a leprechaun. Collect four life potions to increase your hearts by one. Okay. Have I collected any? Oh God, there's a rat there. Oh, he's got hops, dude. Get out of here, ratatouille. All right. Look at these random ass ghosts. They're just like, I'm just floating along here with my lantern in the middle of the fucking day. Oh, we didn't get to our secrets. Oh, I don't like that. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Where are you? Where are you? You're not here. Pop up, maybe? We'll figure this out. Oh, I can't go back down. Sugar. I'm stuck up here. Well, I guess no secrets on this one. Bummer. No chests either. Alright, okay, hobo pig, you can hit me, I can't hit you. That's that's cool. Lumberjack fox. So yeah, the only thing that you need to take away from this, other than, you know, maybe go try goblin sword if it's your jam, is to be nice. That's it. Be nice. Go out of your way to be nice. Everybody's going through stuff. Everyone. No matter who you are or where you are, you're going through something. And circumstance is never the issue. Somebody who is going to their job and feeling like they need to be somewhere else could be experiencing the same pain as someone who is wondering what they're going to eat today. You can't treat them differently. Ever. Oh. A lot of people like to, you know, be like, well, you shouldn't feel that way because of X. And you're not feeling X. You're not them. So it's very important that everybody gets a fair shake, no matter what it is, dude. 
everybody's problems has equal weight. Because if it's a problem to them, it's 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 something that has to be that you can uh, hopefully contribute to the being the solution for. N not even a solution, dude. Half the time, people just need to talk. They gotta vent. And it's really hard to do, sometimes. Shoot your shot, pirate hooker. Okay, he almost killed me. I'm getting a little, getting a little heated here. And it's important to remember that even talking takes energy. Sometimes more energy than we have to give, dude. It happens to me all the time. I'll get a message on, like, Discord or Twitter or something like that. I'll read it. Or a text on my phone. I'm, I'll read it, and then I'll just be like... I just don't have it in me to respond, because my brain is like, if I respond, then the interaction will carry on, and I can or I'm already draining myself before it's even began, right? So people... It's so easy to just tell people, oh, talk to somebody. But, like... Motherfucker, I'm already so drained from my situation... I don't have the energy to talk to anybody. I just need somebody to to play video games in front of me and uh, make it so that I don't have to worry about anything for like 20, 15, eh, about 16 minutes so far. That's kind of our mission here, dude. What was I? What was I just playing? Ghostblade. Yeah. So I was playing a little Ghostblade. Pretty pretty cool shmup. But I mean, most of the time I was just bitching about Ikea. But that's the thing. Ooh, I found a wooden clock. Thank God I was wondering what time it was. Maybe now it will actually be nighttime in this game. And those ghost boys, oh shit, okay. Will actually have a reason to carry on the lanterns. Alright, pirate boy. You know, that looks like the, the bunny from Donnie Darko. Don't you do it! God damn crocodile done crap. Love the snakes in this game. They don't do anything. Look at them. You know, if I stare, if you look at it long enough, it starts to get a little filthy, doesn't it? Look at them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, there's a well. Throw a coin and make a wish. Okay, hobo pig. He just literally walks around and is like, if you run into me, I'm going to hurt you. He's like the porcupine. And what about Lumberjack Fox? What's he about? Oh boy, here we go. Ouija board McGraw. Just sitting there doing nothing. Of course. Then we have, uh... There was a superhero team called the Fantastic Five. This was the Thing's brother. He didn't make it. There was a there was a, an accident. He got turned into lava. Johnny Storm raged at him. And uh, that was it, dude. Now he's forever uh, immortalized in Goblin Sword, the video game. Got the clock, though, dude. Okay, I'm ready to go to the world map, and I'm ready to go to the merchant. This red X mechanic here kind of throws me off, because it looks like stuff is not ready to be unlocked yet. Okay, how much? Oh, these are, like, super fucking cheap. Dude, I think we buy the Fire Sword immediately. Ooh, but this one, the Rune Blade, looks pretty sweet. Gladius looks pretty cool. But it's a fire sword. Or the ice one seems good. Oh, we can buy armor, too. Increases the drop rate of hearts? Oh, I love these, dude. Oh. Okay, I want that. Let's try out the Shadow Cloak, and what, what can we afford now? We can buy a Ninja Sword. Or a Dagger. Can I get something with two attack? Two attack, two attack. Oh, it's too expensive. Alright, let's get, uh, let's channel our inner Gladiator here. You know what? Screw it. I wanna, let's go. Oh, I can't afford ice. Shadow Blade, though. It attacks real fast. Range is good. Too expensive, though. Gladius, we can afford the Gladius. All right, let's go. Back to the Great Forest. World 7. Do I have the Gladius now? 
How do, how do I... I can't see my... I think this is it. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's got some range. Okay. So we're... we're oh, yeah. Look at... There's a little trail behind us. Look at our cloak. Dude, get out of here. Look how fast I am now. <laughs> oh, my God. Screw you, penguin. Pelican. All right, Donnie Darko. Straight into the hobo pig. Right into Lumberjack Fox. Come on, dude. The video games? <gasps> video games. Oh, man. So good. I love little paths like that, dude. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. We've got our fill the goblin sword. Uh, if you're uh, thinking about checking out the game, or if you've played it, let me know if it's something that you know I should I should uh, take it to the distance. I mean, given the amount of levels and how short they are, I'm almost 99% sure this was a mobile game first, which is okay because the Switch and being a dad and having the ability to play a game for literally two minutes at a time and still do something is very valuable for me. Oh shit. Spinning Blades of Doom. Hate that. See, look at that dude. Level's already over. <gasps> oh crap. It's the Minotaur, dude. Whoa. How am I supposed to fight this, bro? Okay, let's, let's, let's think here. Maybe we just keep jumping until he stops moving? Can we get some wax in? Oh, now we just wait. One heart, dude. We are cutting it pretty close. Okay. Whack, whack, whack. Okay. Stay out of the way of that shit. And we stay in the middle again. Oh my god, I didn't know the gameplay was going to heat up so fast. Here, I was prepared to bail, and that was a fucking Minotaur. You know, one of my favorite games is King's Quest VI. And there's a great, there's a great Minotaur in that game. It's an old Sierra joint, Prince Alexander of Daventry. And he's trying to, trying to make sure that he gets with Princess Cosima. And there's an evil magician that's trying to cause problems. And it's one of those old-school point-and-click Sierra adventure games, like, uh... <gasps> you suck. I was ready for that. Okay, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. Only this time we can actually get hit once. You know, I wish I had some, uh... I wish I had some of my magic powers with this, uh, new Gladius here. Oh, now you're stopping? But yeah, dude, I played a lot of old school Sierra games back in the days of shareware, which is where you would get a, you would get like this CD or these discs with like probably like 50 or 100 game demos on it, and it was just all like games like the original Duke Nukem, uh, Commander Keen, Hugo's House of Horrors, and of course a lot of the old school Sierra games were on there, and it was just it was a good time. Always loved going to like an old bookstore and getting like a shareware CD from back in the day. I think they even came in like some cereal boxes sometimes. Oh shit, the castle's open. Do we really run through the whole forest? We didn't run through the whole forest. There's still a bunch of dudes there. Oh, there's a big boss boy. But hey, we killed the Minotaur. Eat that. Be good to each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm serious. Be fucking nice to everyone. No matter what. You don't know what's going on with anybody. And don't assume you do. And also don't assume that their problems are worse than yours, or this person's problem is worse, or they shouldn't feel that way because of X. You, you don't know. Take care.